a couple of pieces from my book called The 20th Year of the Third Millennium, known as 2020. To my women, forever we rise. The year has made us look at our relationships, our lack thereof. Quarantine with our spouses, our boyfriends, some became reacquainted with the person in their home. Some had no one in their home, and it seemed as if loneliness just would not leave them alone. Divorces were on the rise. However, marriages and new engagements did occur. The year 2020 was really a year of vision to see truth. In most cases, it reveals things we did not want to see about ourselves, our mates, our home, our life, and the way we were living. Yet, Black women continued to rise. They discovered themselves again, created businesses, learned to homeschool their children, reconnected with their spouses, while others learned things about their spouses they could no longer accept. Some women opened the door to their heart, declaring they will never be alone again, while others chose freedom and to go it alone. When the cliche, the struggle is real, took, it became lie, and it had a new powerful meaning. For that struggle shaped us and showed us how to create a new beginning. The 20th year of the third millennium known as 2020, we find more of our strength, our pain, and our power, for we are women and we rise. It was a paradigm shift, but it seemed as if it was a shift back into the past. We really had not progressed in brotherly love. Seem everyone hated us black people and all our possessions. But I learned there is a thin line between love and hate. They did not hate us. They wanted to be us because in everything we are great. Love is the spiritual eye. If we could see the end result of this refining fire we are in, if we could see the purging that God has set in place, the removal of stains so deeply embedded, if we could see the burning of the residue of the past, if we could see with spiritual eyes, we would rejoice to what God is getting ready to do in the world, in his church, and in his name. God bless you and keep you. I love you. And remember, you're already all that. No need to strive to be because you've been all that all the time. God bless and keep you. Mm -hmm.